Hello and a big warm welcome to episode 12 of the European Attraction Show here on Theme Park Worldwide, the place to be for everything theme park. Coming up on episode 12 of the show, we bring you a review on the Pterodactyl, the awesome new Zampurla vertical swing at Flamingo Land, and also an update on what's going on over at Drayton Manor for their exciting new Christmas event. And finally, we bring you an update on our fantastic new section of the show, bringing you all the Halloween news. It's Theme Park Worldwide Halloween Update. All that and much, much more is coming up here on the European Attraction Show. This is Theme Park Worldwide. I'm Sean Sandbrook. And I'm Alicia Holmes. And that means it's time to cue, cue those, those titles. titles. Hello and a big warm welcome to episode 12 of the show. Now thank you for all your continued support here on Theme Park Worldwide. And just a few days ago, and we revealed our exciting Halloween plan, Screen Park Worldwide. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Screen Park Worldwide will launch October the 1st and run all the way through to November the 5th. And we'll bring you all of your fantastic Halloween videos from various attractions over the spectacular season. Indeed so, so make sure you stay tuned here on Theme Park Worldwide for all the latest updates along with two very special episodes of the European Attraction Show. So make sure you stay tuned. In the meantime, it's back to the news and it starts off with our UK Theme Park news. Here we are at Warwick Castle. Hello and welcome to UK Theme Park News and our first piece of news brought from you here at Flamingo Land Resorts. Now as you may remember way back in episode 5 of the show we broadcast it here from Flamingo Land and we brought you an update on the brand new Zampirla Vertical Swing which is that tall tower you can just see behind me there. That's a fantastic attraction which only took around 8 weeks to construct and the theme on the actual swing fits very well with the rest of the themes here at the theme park. Here's a look around the area and the queue line for the brand new attraction, Pterodact. As you can see there, the new ride fits in absolutely fantastic with the surroundings of the new area. Now it's great to see this ride in the middle of the park, it acts as sort of a new focal point. You can see it from everywhere around the theme park, it looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm about to join the queue line for my first ride on Pterodactyl. I'm very excited, it's my first time on this sort of ride. Um, great model here, so let's go and try it out. Let's go and I'll tell you my review afterwards. So as you can see behind me, that there is Pterodactyl and we've just come up the ride. Absolutely fantastic, brilliant experience. So it's a Zampirla vertical swing, basically it doesn't look much from off the ride but it lifts you up into the air, spins you around, it's quite a fast lift of, it's very fast moving and the seat's uh, spinning around like this. The actual tower spins around itself as well which I didn't realise on the Zampirla models. Not sure if the actual wind seeker does, if it does let us know, tweet us at ThemeParkWW, there it is on your screen. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's a brilliant ride experience. Out of 10, I would give it, on the thrill rating, a good 8 out of 10. It's quite scary. 
on your family rating, I'd give it sort of five because it is technically a family ride, and but it also does offer a thrill with the um, the nice views of the park. Nice feature, you also go over the Rhino out of it, which you can just see behind me. Um, yeah, so that's a nice little feature of the ride, adds that extra bit of thrill to it. And so it's definitely a brilliant addition here to Flamingo Land. And if you've already been to Flamingo Land, let us know again um, at Theme Park WW, again on your screen. Send us your review on this fantastic attraction. But that's all from here at Flamingo Land, and now it's time to head over to Drayton Manor for a little look at the updates coming to the park this Christmas. Fantastic stuff there on the updates over at Flamingo Land Resorts. Now here we are over at Drayton Manor, which is a theme park here in Tamworth, Staffordshire. And as we mentioned, it's had some fantastic updates throughout the year. Obviously the past few years, they've had the hotel, Ben 10, Thomas Land. And also for this Christmas, we've got a brand new attraction. Now we believe that this is going to be some sort of Santa's Grotto attraction. And here it is, it's the old Excalibur building. Now as you can see, the building's been painted white, purple, blues. Also got bits of queue line um, fencing with snow on top, as you're going to see in a moment in the footage. And it's generally looking quite good. Now the uh, park's Christmas event is going to be absolutely fantastic, just like ever. Um, Thomas Land will be open, Ben 10, if it's not too cold for it, mind. Um, so it's going to be absolutely fantastic. What's actually happened is the turntable for the ride has had a fence sort of put up around it, uh, all being painted up. So it's going to look like an absolutely fantastic attraction. Here on Theme Park Worldwide, we'll keep you up to date on everything here at Drayton Manor, just like we always do. What are your thoughts on the park losing Excalibur? Send us your comments at Theme Park WW. There it is on your screen or right on our Facebook wall. Here's a look around the construction site of the new Christmas attraction here at Drayton Manor. over at Drayton Manor and Flamingo Land Resort. The new ride is looking absolutely fantastic. Now on to another update of the construction of the Wallace and Gromit and Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Last week we were at the park capturing more updates of the construction from this fantastic dark ride for you. Here's a look around the construction site as it was just a few days ago. showing everything on the site at the moment and that can be viewed by clicking on the link which will appear about now. That will take you to our video but don't worry it will open in another window so you can carry on watching the show too. That's all for our UK theme park news and now it's on to Halloween updates.
guess what time it is? It's Halloween updates time. We've got lots of updates as Halloween is fast approaching. In our new section of the show, we'll be bringing you all the latest news on Halloween, including construction of the attractions and updates on what's happening across the park. First, we start off with Tolton Towers, where as we reported in our last show, Carnival of Screams and Terror of the Towers are returning for yet another year, but the boiler house has been replaced by a new maze called the Sanctuary. Also, the scare rooms, which are located at the Alton Towers Hotel, return with a new theme that seems to resemble the Field of a Thousand Screams, an attraction that used to take place on the lawns next to the Alton Towers Hotel. As you can see, if you visit the park over the past couple of weeks, construction has stepped up on the mazes, and with the towers being closed off to the public, and here on the show, we will bring you all the latest news in our next episode, so check back later. Now, as you may be aware, Port Aventura in Spain is home to one of the largest Halloween events in Europe. And this year they're expanding the event more with some fantastic new features to the experience. Now, sadly, after 14 years in operation, uh, Al Diablo won't be returning, but a new maze in the Mexican area of the park, uh, in the Mayan Temple, will be opening. And that's going to be like the story of fire and like a, an ancient tribe of Mexico. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic attraction. And here at the show, we can't wait to try that out. Um, now also a band's going to be travelling around the park which is around 20 performers uh, with a new Halloween show that will be performing on the stages in Far West and Mexico and along with all that we've got lots of new theming going into Port Ventura Park this Halloween so it's going to look absolutely fantastic. But not only that, we've got classic shows like Love for Vampires, Bang Bang Halloween and also Mystery Resurrection which is the third year of uh, Mystery. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Here on Theme Park Worldwide we'll keep you all up to date on all the Halloween news in our special Screen Park Worldwide episode. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide's Ride of the Show, brought to you here from Flamingo Land Resort, which is here in Yorkshire. Now this ride is a favourite of mine, and there it is behind me, and it's a Vacoma SLC roller coaster, also known as Kamali. Now this ride opened in 2006 at the park, has four inversions and pulls a G-force of 4.7G, and travels at just over 15 miles per hour. What an exciting ride! Um, now to build Kamali, Flamingo Land invested £6 million into the ride, which looks absolutely beautiful. Now myself, I'm a big fan of the colour scheme, looks absolutely fantastic, uh, very sort of African style theming, looks really good on the ride. Um, now, it's one of three Vekoma SLC roller coasters. For the non-geeky people, SLC stands for Suspended Looping Roller Coaster. You've got Infusion, which is down at Pleasure Beach Blackpool, and also Jubilee Odyssey, which is at Fantasy Island. Uh, now it's not very comfy, you've got a very horrible restraint, much like the other SLCs, but it's a decent coaster. Here's a look at some shots of Kamali in action, and then it's time for Theme Park World Rides Magic Moments. Without further ado, our first magic moment is from Tara Jones, and that's who we met up with at the Port Aventura White Nights event. Now, Tara has visited Port Aventura nearly as many times as me that's 20 times, which is absolutely brilliant, and it was an absolute pleasure to meet. Here's a look at her magic moment. Very magical there, and that's because I'm in it, and we're also at Port Aventura. Our second magic moment is from Kyle, who is relaxing and unwinding on Hurricane Condor at Port Aventura. He also says he loves the show, so thank you, Kyle. Here's a look at his very special magic moment. And that's it for our magic moments. But remember to send in any shout outs or magic moments via the usual method of tweeting us at Theme Park WW or liking us on Facebook. Indeed, you can. And now it's time for my favourite part of the show it's time for Theme Park Worldwide Shout Out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello and a big warm welcome to this week's shout out. This week, as always, we've had plenty of shout outs being sent in to us here on the show. First up, a big hello to John, Charlie, and Ruth who went to Flamingo Land last week for their first time. Hello to Will Jackson who has been watching the show since Sean started doing an episode on Sandbrook Productions. We do love our fans who've supported us even from the early days of Sandbrook Productions. Thanks, guys. Here's to another fan, that's Owen Pickering, who went on Apocalypse at the age of 12. That's fantastic. A fantastic hello to Gerbil World Rocks. Here at Theme Park Worldwide, we'd like to give Theme Park Adventurer and Roller Coaster Geek 100 a big shout out. So that's the end of shout outs for this week. We'll keep sending in your shout outs for next week's episode. Keep sending them in via the usual method. Oh yeah. No, unfortunately, we've come to the end of episode 12 of the show. Yes, but don't forget to keep checking out Theme Park Worldwide regularly for more on and off ride videos from different theme parks across Europe, which are added every few days. Indeed, they are. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be bringing you videos from Flamingo Land, Lightwater Valley, and much more, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you for watching episode 12 of the European Attraction Show, and we look forward to bringing you another fantastic episode on Monday, the 24th of September. Indeed, we do, and in the meantime, keep checking back on the channel. We've got lots of fantastic videos coming for you soon. This is Theme Park Worldwide. My name's Sean Sandbrook. And I'm Alicia Holmes. And that means it's time to... Cue those credits. credits. Bye, Bye now. now.